Welcome to another episode of Beer League Hockey. Today is September 4th, uh, 2018. Uh, we are here outside of Beer League Hockey headquarters. Uh, and you may notice behind me two sets of pads and you may be asking yourself, why? Well, the answer is, um, so I've had my Reebok pads for six years, maybe more. Definitely showing signs of wear. Uh, so I've been uh, looking uh, in the market there to get them replaced or repaired um, lots of worn spots uh, the palm of my blocker is getting worn where I'm getting splinters from my goalie stick the palm of my uh, of the catcher um, getting worn out as well uh, definitely the pads the top the bottom corners by the ice have gotten worn um, the straps uh, the elastic straps on the back won't hold in place any longer so all the velcro is kind of gone to the wayside so I can't lock them down in place so I can't get comfortable with those uh, so anyway uh, from our last video when we played out with uh, old DF on Friday uh, for the long weekend uh, we had Mark as our goalie on the uh, Canadian side so he was our goalie in white and these are his old Brian's pads so Mark was kind enough uh, to let us give these a test run just to see if we like them um, so that was kind of very generous of him so I took him up on his offer and uh, we are going to now go to the rink and give these a test run uh, biggest difference so those are 36 plus twos these are a 37 plus ones although um, Mark said they're pretty much a 36 plus two um, we'll go over some of the other differences um, for the different pads. Um, I'll do another like a close-up shot. Biggest thing on the back of the pads for the Reebok, very traditional old style straps and buckles with uh, only one Velcro strap. Uh, the Sub-Zeros appear to have just all Velcro on the back. So that'll be a change. We'll see what that feels like. Um, and as a side note, um, I know I have had Brian's pads before. Uh, so I'll show up, throw up some pictures here bunk bunk up here uh, for my Brian's pads. So I had traditional stand-up pads originally. Uh, those are my black and white ones. And then we'll try to find a picture. I think I have one of my, with my mom where I've got some uh, butterfly pads, but they're kind of short. Um, and then I got my Reebok ones. And then uh, we're gonna go back to try to try out Brian's. Nice thing about Brian's, it's a Canadian company. So they're made here in North America. Uh, I believe mine Reeboks were made in China or something, but um, I'd have to look, it's kind of old since I checked, but I know Brian's still made in Canada, so that's kind of nice, keep things here in Canada land. But uh, yeah, so let's um, go over some of the differences. All right, so as you can see, uh, pretty much the size of the equipment is about the same. Like I said, the uh, those are 37 plus ones. They may look a little shorter here in the video, just because they are kind of been curled over a little more than my uh, than my uh, Reebok ones, but they're generally about the same size. As you can see, I'm gonna take a look at my my blocker and my uh, my trapper here. So as you can see, um, you know there's there's getting some wear here. Uh, getting a lot of stingers lately on the uh, if I get them in the right spot on the palm of my uh, catcher. Um, getting some wear down here and here and uh, on the palm as well. I mean, they've held up really well for six years. I can't complain. Um, I mean, I, may, I can get them repaired if I need to. No real big cuts or scratches in the pads. I have a little slash here from a skate, but uh, considering, you know, they're holding up pretty well. So like I said, I can't really complain. Uh, here is the Brian's equipment. Um, so blocker's about the same size. 
catcher is a little looks about the same. Um, my Reebok has a 590 brake, so I'm not quite sure what the Bryan's has, uh, but uh, like I said, they're all pretty standard looking. All right, and uh, finally here in the back, it's like I said, I'm very traditional buckle straps. The elastic that I had here, uh, this wasn't holding anymore, especially down here, so it let pop loose, pads get really, really loose. Um, as you can see here on the Sub-Zeros, all just uh, typical Velcro stuff. So should, oops, probably didn't want to show that very well. Uh, so it should be a very traditional, or uh, very, I think a nice snug feeling, I would imagine. Uh, but yeah, uh, knee cradles, looks very interesting. Um, and here you go, back at the... I don't know if anybody really cares. Back of the other equipment here, compared to my old uh, old Reebok stuff. So let's get this all boxed up, get out to the rink, give it a test run. All right, here we are at the rink, getting all set to uh, get ready, get our gear on. Just wanted to uh, drop a quick note, say another big thank you to Mark again uh, for letting me uh, test run the Sub Zeros. Um, so far, I mean, I've. I like them so far. They're, uh, they seem, definitely seem a little bit lighter than my uh, Reeboks. Um, and the fact that there's a lot less buckles and snaps I'm going to have to do, it's going to be definitely a big plus getting in and out of them. Uh, but yeah, so uh, stick around. Let's see what they do on the ice. Maybe I'll like, get a little shuddy today. You never know. I can, I can uh, blame my old pads for all that if I don't. So anyway, uh, stick tuned. Uh, how can you find us? Remember, you can always find us on the Facebook, the YouTubes, the Twitter. The Instagram, uh, follow us all there, especially when we go on vacations and stuff. Uh, that way you can keep up and say hi to us all. And uh, thanks to all our new subscribers. Uh, make sure you drop a note, say hi, leave a message. Uh, love to introduce ourselves to you and have you introduce yourselves to me uh, and us. Uh, we're just a big family here, so uh, drop a note, say hi. But anyway, uh, not to bore you all, enjoy the game.
I did. Oh,
Increase it, you guys. I just know there was no angle. <laughs> Where's Gitchin? You got me twice in the same spot where there's no padding. Oh. <laughs> 